Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha and I am very excited to do this video. Um, I was tagged by the lovely Liz Cruz, which I'm going to put a picture here. She was super cool when she did my tag video and like put a picture of me in her thumbnail, but I'm not that great at editing yet. Um, I'm kind of horrible with technology, but that's a story for another day. So here she is and this beauty has, um, tagged me in another video so i am going to be doing the tag of which fragrance house do you own the most of and kind of talking you through the fragrances what i like you know i'm actually putting them in order that i like them i don't know that that was a rule um but she had done this with her ariana grande fragrances and tagged me a little bit ago and now i've caught up and i actually was able to go through my collection so I'm going to tag a few friends down below. No pressure. If you guys don't have time, I know there's like a lot of stuff going on, but if you do have a chance and you want to go through your collection, I'm going to tag a few um, of my friends here. But also if you make videos, go ahead and make this video. Tag Liz Cruz, tag me. We'll watch it. And um, so I will do that at the end. So if I don't remember to say it here, they will be in the description box for sure. So my contenders were, um, the three that didn't make it were Bath & Body Works. I consider them a fragrance house because they do put out a perfume every quarter. Um, I had six of those. Um, so I didn't consider that one because I mostly do Bath & Body Works um, hauls, but that is a, that's probably the most I have from one brand, but I wanted to do a different house. So I didn't actually include that one. I hope I'm not cheating, Liz. Call me out in the comments. Um, my dossier fragrances I have five also and then the Viva La Juicy the Juicy brand I have four but what I decided to go with because I have six as well and it is like again what I would consider a fragrance house but Bath & Better Works has two I think if I understand what they are is Escada so you saw in the thumbnail so there's there we'll just end the uh, suspense there so I own six different fragrances from Escada so we are going to talk about them briefly and then I am going to just give you a few um, notes and um, tell you why I like them. So Escada fragrances, they, um, they've been one of my favorites for years. I've gone through many, many, many bottles of these. Um, however, beyond their like signature set, which I do believe magnetism is one of their signature scents, they produce at least once a year, possibly more than once a year, a limited edition fragrance. And so that is what is the hard part about loving Escada fragrances. If you love it and you use up the bottle, you're out. And that's just that because typically, well, you can get them on like fragrance net sometimes and um, places like that with Mercari resale sites, but just to go into Ulta or go into, you know, places where you buy your perfumes, you might not be able to find it. So again, it's just one of those hit or miss things. So that's probably the biggest thing about the brand that I don't love is the accessibility. Once you fall in love with it, you want to be able to go and purchase it for years and years, but you can't, but do you, they also come out with new uh, fragrances for you to fall in love with. So we're going to start at the bottom. This is the Escada Magnetism. Um, I recently hauled this from a fragrance net order. I've got big bottles because I'm still learning how to not be savage like that. Like I could have used one ounce on everything. This is a one, this is a 2.5 ounce. So again, it's okay. It's not one that I absolutely adore. It is a very powdery, it has notes of sandalwood, pineapple, and magnolia, which you think would be so strange, but together they work. I do really enjoy this. Um, I just, I don't reach for powdery scents. So when I'm looking at them all, I rarely reach this, but that just smelled lovely. So I don't know why I don't. The next one I want to talk about is Aqua del Sol. This is another one I got this summer. You can see I've made a little dent in her. Again, ham sandwich on the sizes of these perfumes. I think this is a three ounce i don't know what my problem is these are 3.3 ounces and i got a couple of them i just thought three ounces you know it's looking like a diet coke and i was like and then math and i was like nope got these huge bottles i didn't need but this is notes of vanilla tonka bean citrus pineapple and sorbet and i think it's really nice and creamy um it's fruity but it's not like heavily heavily fruited heavily fruited that's not a word heavy on the fruit note it's more um really heavy on the citrus note and I really get the tonka bean in this one. So this is kind of more of a night fragrance I feel like for summer if that makes sense like almost like you could say this is a vacation fragrance but you definitely want to wear it at night or dressed up or something I don't know. <clears throat> the third one and now we're just kind of working into all the ones I really do love you guys. So this is my second bottle of this one. 
This is the Escada Miami Blossom, and it has notes of um, musk, watermelon. I thought I wrote music. I was like, that can't be. It's got notes of music? No. Musk, watermelon, blueberry, and orange. So again, why do I love these? They're super fruity, but they're long lasting. So I really do enjoy these perfumes. This one I love because it does, it's like watermelon's beautiful, the blueberry's nice, and um, the musk isn't too strong. So again, I really enjoy wearing that one all year round. These do lean more toward the summer fragrance, but again, you know, I can pull off these for sure in fall and winter. This is probably more of a fall fragrance, I'd say, just because it's really powdery. But, um, you know, you look at the brand, you might think it screams summer, but I do wear them all year round because I like to smell fruity all year round. So then number three is going to go to Rock and Rio. And these, again, I did put in an order of sorts, but I do love them all at this point. Um, Aqua del Sol, I feel like I need for special occasions and magnetism. I do like it a lot. I just have to grab it basically. So what are the notes of Rock and Rio? Peach, cotton candy, tangerine, and pineapple. Yes. I, I just, I love how sweet and fruity this is so nice. I just, and the peach is interesting because I don't have a lot of peach notes in my perfume. So this does feel very interesting to me. I don't know the years these came out or the order whatsoever. I do have saved for number one, um, my very, very favorite perfume. So next we're going to do a, a Scada Music Festival. And I do know this is the 2020 version because look at who learned her lesson. Um, again, this is a one ounce. This is a three ounce. Um, but then again, as you see it go down and you have the little rare bottle, you're like, oh no. So this was the only time I ever didn't go crazy. And I, this has notes of fresh citrus and fruit. And so I think it has a little bit of watermelon in here. It's not listed as a note, but oh, this one's so strong. And I don't know why this one is so nice. I got a little on my hand, so I'm going to wipe it on me. Yeah, it's just, it's really beautiful fruit. Um, and it opens up into like a fresh citrus no, I just really enjoy that one. And the last one, I actually just got a new bottle. This has been my favorite of all time. It's a Scada Sorbetto Rosso. This was the beginning of my obsession with these fragrances, to be honest. I went through several bottles of this one until I realized that you can't just get it anymore. So I found it on one of the websites. I think it was FragranceNet. I've had this for a minute, but um, it is the Escada Sorbetto Rosso. Look, it's got watermelon right on there. And the notes are tangerine, watermelon, sea salt. And I really, I'm just going to spray this on me because I want to. Yeah, I love this. So this is so, this is watermelon. Now I know Simply Shaughnessy, she shared a couple of fragrances that have watermelon in it. I can't remember what they are. I'm going to go back and look because um, I was a video I watched of hers recently but that is a note I just really, really enjoy. So like Pink Watermelon from Beth Vitaworks, love that. Um, so this one I was happy to find, I think this is in the 2.3 ounce. Yeah, so it's just like, here's your here's your little guy, here's your next size, and then here are these Mamma Jammas. And I will probably buy both of these in a bigger one eventually, but I'll work through these first. But um, I can spray them very liberally and I never feel to go overboard. I think it's just cause it's a nice fruity fragrance. Um, and so, yeah, I really love Escada fragrances. Um, <clears throat> I wish they weren't limited edition all the time, but again, you can find really good deals on fragrance net. So if fruity fragrances, strong fruity fragrances and cotton candy and sweet are your jam, you would love a lot of these and they are very complex in their notes. So definitely look them up in the descriptions. Um, when you go to like a site like fragrance net, it shows you the base, the top. It's not normally just three notes. There's like 12 notes in these. That's very pretty. I just really enjoy them. So that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you so much, Liz Cruz, for um, inviting me to be in your tag video. Sorry it took me a little bit to get to. And now if any of these girls want to uh, join in, please don't feel obligated, but do it if it sounds like it'd be fun. Um, I'm going to tag just Kayla Michelle, of course, because she's the queen of fragrance. Cynthia M106, she has a lot of perfumes and she knows a lot about different fragrances. So I'm sure she probably has a collection she could pull from. Um, Savings Fashionista, she would do a great job on this video. Of course, Simply Shaughnessy, because she probably already has a million versions of this video, but if she wants to join the tag and text some of her friends, that'd be fun. And then I always have to include my girl, Gabadina. Now, again, I know a lot of you. I love a lot of you. I wasn't sure if you were into perfume and fragrance like that. I've seen all these girls share a video on perfume. So 
That's why I felt comfortable tagging them. But again, if you do videos and you have perfume and you want to do this, basically just talk about your um, which fragrance house you own the most of and why and what your fragrances are from there and then tag your friends as well. I hope I did. Did I understand the assignment? No, I'm just kidding. So um, I appreciate you all so much for watching and I will see you in a video tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye.